Hi, Hi guys. guys, welcome to Lily Ogini's YouTube channel. Oh. Period. Yeah. All right, so you guys are welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. And of course, my name is Lily. I have this beautiful Ninja babe in the building. Be fair herself. Oh yeah, introduce yourself. Guys, my name is Kina Bife, and the name of my YouTube channel is called Bife Space. So please do well to subscribe. To just go to my YouTube channel. You will love what you see there. Thank you. I'm going to link her channel here in the description of this video. Don't forget to check her out. Bife, you're welcome. Thank so me. I had to, I had to invite a Nigerian that would have lived in Ghana longer than me to come. Let's talk about this peace in Ghana. Am I exaggerating? Because I've been talking about peace in Ghana. You know, coming from where I'm coming from, seeing everyone living like this, like free. You can actually be very free. I said, let me invite her over. Mm -hmm. What do you think is responsible for the peace in Ghana? I, I would not say I know something historical about it, but based on my own observation, when I came for my studies many years ago in Ghana, I realized one thing. One thing was very eminent, like it was very clear that during their election, it was free and fair compared to what i am used to mm, mm, mm. it was very very like election day you can go out you can, you can go out around. yes you go out during elections like no fear of you traveling no normally there's curfew oh, in, when you <coughs> when there's election normally there's restriction of movements mm -hmm. where we come from you don't mm -hmm. mention the country we are from wakanda yeah. <laughs> so in wakanda where we come from there's restriction of movement mm -hmm. before and El during the elections even after the elections you will be advised to not just to travel <laughs> even though when the restriction is east mm -hmm. you will still not be allowed by people that loves, loves you. you so much but then you don't travel mm -hmm. so you mean you didn't see that that does not yes happen i didn't experience that, that during election you get so scared people cannot go out mm. I mean grown adults. I'm mm. not even talking about kids. kids. I mean grown adults cannot people are even scared, you know, where I'm coming from. People are even scared to even go and cast their votes. Okay, but here. But here but here. here it's not like that. I experienced peace during the election on another level. Okay. Like although when I came I was having that mentality of, you know, Nigeria, ah, the fish shoots gone, no, ah, anything, talks, fee coming, no, you know, yeah. those kind of perception, but I did not see anything. In fact, they were they were streaming the election live on TV, giving live results on TV. <laughs> so you mean you like, know here, yeah, um, ballot boxes snatched, snatched, inconclusive. I didn't, I didn't experience that. inconclusive so, elections on <laughs> part region. You don't used to. I you did, not experience that I as did a Nigerian living in Ghana. That. So for me, I would say when your leaders are getting something right, like if you are leading. And you're a true leader your followers will have to follow suit do you understand mm. so when the politicians ah, let me not go politicians no hey boy you are not talking about political party okay. when the leaders when the leaders are we getting, don't do politics here yes. okay just so you when know, the guys. leaders are getting something right in their corner i think it rubs on the, the citizens, citizens right of the country it rubs on the masses so if the leaders are trying to instigate war or trying to instigate injustice to a certain level or extent, you realize that even the citizens will start reacting. But I beg, I beg to disagree with you. Mm -hmm. Because I genuinely feel like it has nothing to do with the leaderships. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's just a thing with them themselves. Because mm -hmm. something happened recently, even mm -hmm. though I deleted that video. Mm -hmm. You know, like, did I tell you that this season in Ghana, be careful where you're buying orange. I get to. Sure, I told you. Yes, because that already, when you know, buy farm inside, inside. There's, a, there's a level of politics inside. And if you're not careful, you'll, be, you'll get yourself swimming in it. Mm -hmm. And you will not understand. But mm -hmm. people observing you understand. So this event that I attended last week, the event was cancelled at the dying minute, right there and then. And I could see some of the they are the youths. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they are from, if they are Ghanaians or not, but I could see majority of the youths. I could see them just taking it. They were just instead of protesting or 
breaking bottle like you know in wakanda now you know you know where we come from <laughs> that is what i know it would have been would have been like lucky to get kind of kind issue of, mm -hmm. because there will there will be fight a fight, fight will break anarchy. out yeah so many things will happen but these people i observed them i just moved to a corner because me i was afraid though so that what happens in that side will not happen here yeah. so i just went to one corner and i was observing them all they do was they were just singing the only thing they did was singing 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 and till i left and no no problem no report of any uh, assault on a security man no security man open fire on the so i would want to believe that mm. it has more to do with the people themselves than the leadership but you see even though i know that the leaders are also mm -hmm. the people you see they that's that's that notion has been built in them over time right so you don't expect them to just change right or to just want to face mm, mm, you know mm. even, even if even when it comes to nigeria before we got to the level of lucky targets, mm. we've, we've been always been, we've always been scared of you know facing our leaders. Okay, people might come on social media to talk, but you see, did you see that unity mm. during the lucky target? Mm, like mm. they came out like if it wasn't altered, if it wasn't stopped, who would, would have, have succeeded? Been, yeah, right? Yes. So it it takes time. You don't just expect people to just stand but for up. me i'm sorry to say i believe no matter how hard our leaders back home try there's always going to be issues because the people themselves it's as if there's this some people have special kind of hatred for the country you see when the same nigeria you see when the same nigerians mm. go to other countries mm. let's say the uk the us they behave themselves the Even same in, nigerians right here in ghana yes, just the let's same say nigerians that behave let's say he in ghana here too mm -hmm. do you used to get a nigerian man greet you in ghana like you used to say hello you used to do you used to hear any nigerian man say mm. good morning they just me themselves. i used to hear uh, uh, someone greet me a nigerian man or guy the one that will slap me in Nigeria for, for being him. a woman, for not greeting him. Basically, for him being a man and me being a woman, I didn't greet him. That one that would have slapped me back home. Here, I would just see them say hello to me, like, good morning. You the, see the, the, same, the same Nigerian yeah, that is, behaves in Nigeria. Back in Nigeria. We go outside Nigeria and behave themselves. themselves. Because they know that the law works over there. Right. So, so do you, why do you, do you think they are taking the country for granted? That's what they I'm feel like the law that is not working. If, if the law is working, everything mm. is about government. If the law is working, okay. if people are being punished for their wrongdoings like they, people accepting. will not feel Cutting that corners. i have money people will not feel like i i i have people i have connections mm, people mm. will not feel that way if they know that if they do something wrong they will be properly punished for that things will start right getting you know streets makes in sense. the country it makes sense so I, 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 i'm thinking they're doing it because they hate no People feel and I people feel like they are doing one it in way. Ghana. People, people follow one way in Nigeria, mm. believing that if they meet police in they front, will sort them out, they will, they will bribe them. Do you understand? Or they feel I know somebody, even if police catch me. I will call them. I will call. They will say, Do you know who, who I am? Do you know who I know? Hey. Do you know do you know who you are talking to? You know that kind of entitlement spirit oh God. that you cannot do in another man's land. Mm. They feel they can do it in their country. So if we can set our laws and abide by, by those them. laws, things will be better. Okay, so you strongly so for believe me, that I feel Ghanaians in Ghana, are doing the it because is the law because, is working. Yes, the law is working to a reasonable extent. <sighs> okay, law set by Ghanaians working in Ghana is the same thing. Like it's as good as it's almost the same as what I think. Mm. But thank you for throwing more light. Mm. Um, here, one of the best sector for you in Ghana is what? Is it the police, education, the health? Mm. the power yeah power no no power is not part mm. everybody likes the power in ghana right yeah the police the education the health and okay. more. banking for me, for me i would say education okay the reason i would say that is because during my education period i didn't i didn't go through any stress like so was, all you needed to do was all what? i needed to do was you know enter school pay my school fees read pass my exam write my exams and pass them i don't know 
I did experience some kind of assault. So you didn't do like um okay, my lecturer said no, 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 not not in my school. It's not even. And then there are no courses in school no, harassing not, you. Not fine girl, you know they want to date you. Are you not saying not no. in my school? I don't know for other schools they might be experiencing something like that. But but in my school, the school I attended, like like there was nothing like that. Not for one day did any lecturer cite for me somewhere and say to, to say rubbish. Never. Or I had to impress a lecturer. Or nobody the asked only you who's your dad, who's the, your mom. The only time I had one on one with a lecturer on a mm. personal note is one when I had issues with my assignments. Okay. I went to meet my lecturer. Secondly was during my projects uh projects defense Project, and um, writing and all of that that was the time i know i had personal like one-on-one really -on -one encounter, encounter with... like me and my lecturer will be in the office talking okay. and that was me going to them nobody called you to me come order to... You. hey no 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 for hospital because by the grace of god god has been faithful all through my years in ghana never as a student me. never forced me i never went god god has been uh -uh. faithful the only time i had gone to the hospital in ghana was for toothache oh that was the only time so how like, did it go for you what was your experience oh it, like? it went smoothly although as a foreigner well for me i have reservation about that health for, for because as a foreigner you pay differently compared no 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 that's not it so you don't pay differently compared to you didn't know mm. you know there's no you do have health insurance yes now nah, if i want for me like if i want to have it now nah, i know where to go to and i have asked. For, okay for me my kids okay maybe because of the health insurance i didn't have okay you didn't health have health insurance. insurance okay for me i'm the talking about the attitude of the nurses and the oh doctor. no i i didn't experience me we're paying the, you know to take it mm. be so you were like your emergency so, okay. your case was just like emergency. yes so everybody was like that was okay for me here yeah, like i didn't like the way um the nurses maybe it has to do with the location of the hospital you know i, I will say it has to do with the location of the hospital so I didn't like the health workers' attitude mm. in that place. Each time I go there, I still have issues with them. Mm. But they do apologize. When I point out things that I wish they're not doing, don't like they them. will tell me, later, later, they will tell me, sorry, you know, we will sort it out. But I feel like they are the same with the ones I left behind. Yes, now. In terms of, the, like, they are being... I feel I feel it's something general with health workers in Africa. Let right? me say in Africa, in, in these Nigeria two countries that I'm Ghana. used to, but I've not experienced in Ghana. I think but let me say in Nigeria, the government should pay them a lot of money. Yes, you because people should they pay are them because sometimes, eh, maybe sometimes lies. people are not making a lot. They are giving more than they make. They and they, get, and they, you know, hospital stress. Can be. <laughs> you're dealing, you're dealing with people. It's just like you're dealing with mad people. Eh, different people. So but you know, sick. there's something I observe. Uh, I think it's the same. The, if you go to private hospital in Ghana, ah, you'll be treated so, so nice. So you think it's government hospitals that yes. have that issue? Government hospital, government hospital, both in my country and here, they have they work as except if other places are not like that place I went. I went there and I came back last year and made a video. I was traumatized. Hmm. Do you understand? I was like, what is this? Like for the first time, I could see Nigeria staring as right yeah. in my face you know you know how i react to that mm -hmm. when i see nigeria looking at you looking at me in ghana it used to be a shock and i like to fight back so i was very disappointed mm -hmm. but it's okay they, no one is perfect right mm -hmm. of course let's just say the head worker they are the same the attitude is almost the same so now what about the police the ghana mm -hmm. police mm -hmm. versus let me compare. I'm, I'm sorry I'm dragging you to this. Like, yes, I'm dragging fine, you to this. So now, Ghana police versus Nigerian police. What do you have to say about this two? Kim, you should give your take based on the video of this YouTuber, Ichim Boot. Uh, there were these trending videos, mm. you know, all over the internet of two policemen. One, oh, oh, one from oh. Nigeria, one from Ghana. And the one of Ghana was asking for a mobile phone number of the woman. And then the one of Nigeria was asking for money. Hmm. So did you see these videos? I saw, I saw them. So what do you have to say about this? I, I wouldn't say I want to compare Nigeria and Ghana when it comes to that. I wouldn't come out here Why? to say. Because I've experienced that same thing in Ghana before. Oh, really? Yes, where 
They are, you can ask, you can say they are the same now. You, you they fear to talk. <laughs> you no, can say like, they are, they are the same. They, you think? But I would, I would say I commend the fact that when an issue comes up in Ghana, when mm. there is an issue in Ghana that has to do with the police, the the force, they take action immediately. Okay, but can if I? If they see that anybody is trying to, they you know, tarnish to their mm. image. Okay. They work on they it. They work on it. Okay, but wait, they take action. Wait, oh, I would like you to throw more light. Something happened to you in Ghana. Your your experience with the police. No, I. You I, know I, that me. Mm. I think by this time my subscribers are fully aware of my person. Like I don't lie mm -hmm. to make anybody feel good. So if you had an experience, I've not shared personally. With us. Okay. Personally, mm. I've not had by the grace of God, both in Nigeria and in Ghana. Okay. I've not had any issue to with the police. involve the police or okay. anything like that. I they always did my lane. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying based on the video that you're talking about, collecting oh, okay, of money you mean? on the road. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, for That's me I would say that uh, there was you see, I didn't even react to that video, you know, those videos I didn't react to those videos because the Nigerian police officer was obviously joking. Mm. Yes, he was obviously joking. I could see, you know, when people are doing these videos, I went back to take a look at the video. He is just a victim. He's an escape goat. Mm. And it's like someone sweat for him or something. His village people do. Mm. Because that thing, that thing was not, like, he was not serious about it. He was like, give money what did you bring for me mm. and they uh, said the woman said nothing like he said what did you know they were trying to make her understand and they know she does not understand their intonation very well you now say money money give us money 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 this is not the typical nigerian policeman asking for bribe that mm. is not how they ask you know how a policeman in nigeria asks for bribe not like that man in the video. So for that man, he was joking. It's, it's, it's sad. Uh, he was but joking. But I, I felt really sorry for him. Yeah, I felt sorry for him. He was joking because the real felt, poli felt really police, tactical policeman, corrupt police officer in Nigeria, is not like that man. Mm. Is is a different shade entirely. And now, now when it comes to the Ghana, the Ghanaian policeman in that video, his own, is out of admiration for the woman who could ride a bike, bike all the way from her continent to her continent so is is based on he, the fact that a woman is riding a bike like he has not seen that before mm -hmm. from the look of things i'm seeing in that video but the whole thing it turned out to be sad because they had of. to compare and all of that mm. for me i think when it comes to the force in the both countries no i don't think they are the same yeah nigerian police and ghana police are certainly not the, the same uh, because yeah because i've not had you know had any experience encounter. i have not had a one-on-one -on -one mm. with them. okay i have because i was assaulted physically assaulted by a man whom i have not done any wrong to it's not like oh he said this this lady insulted me or mm. she said this about me just purely nothing because the sister and i had uh disagreements mm. on whatsapp you mm. get it mm -hmm. so it's not like i insulted i mean it's not like i assaulted the sister or something and the sister just came and told him that anywhere he sees me he should beat me and mm. he just beats me and he wanted to naked me and i went to the police station they they didn't do anything up to now hmm. so here someone said that he was going to deal with me for i think you know i think it's like someone i don't mention the person for nothing hmm. so i went to the police and i reported <laughs> See, the way they acted that day, they, they did not say, come and judge, come and judge. They mm. just get our boot statements and they knew where the problem was from. And they wrote and signed and s they wrote sign and stamp it. And so here I go. So you see, they are not, for me, I've not had any you, you don't had any encounter. Yeah. I've not seen the ones that the core ones they do in Nigeria and Ghana. I mean, when mm. I mean the core ones, you see those core ones that we don't first of all ask no respect for first the of all ask you where's your uh, fire extinguisher? You bring it. They say, <laughs> okay, trust. where's your driver's license? You bring it. They will now hold the driver's license and they ask say, okay, you, where's your your fan? Why is exhaust not connected to 
you you say okay this is my fan they say okay where's the water in the car <laughs> that you, you show them the water they will not say calm down where is the food you will eat when you go they will say calm down <laughs> when they say by the time they say calm down and they carry it to the back of the car you know already uh -huh. but i've not experienced that one <laughs> and that's why i say that um uh, itching boot case the policeman was joking that's a different shade mm. entirely mm -hmm. if all the policemen that are asking for bribe for all the policemen in nigeria are asking for bribe if they were doing it like that man do you know that they would have been would not be complaining you know now you because see he was even smiling eh, eh, money 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 him he trying to speak friendly. english mm -hmm. and then you you'll be happy to give him money be fair as a nigerian you oh officer the you. police brutality you know. that we were fighting in nigeria is, not, is, that, is that not what led to answers yeah that, that, that was that what was led it. to answers that in nigeria mm. that's to tell you how bad nigerians are suffering from the hands of, of the police so the Ghana police, they have it. So now let's talk about this part. Living in Ghana for you as a woman, especially a young woman, mm. and living in Nigeria, I'm not talking about how you feel around your family. Mm. Basically going out, dressing up and going out in Nigeria, dressing up and going out in Ghana as a woman. How mm. does it feel? Is it the same? I feel uh, for me, I would say for me, for me, I would say in Ghana, I feel safer as a woman. I don't know whether because Ghana is a motherland. Uh, I feel more safe in, Niger in Ghana because I feel if you mess with me, the fact that I'm a woman is an advantage <laughs> for me. For me, I would not look for your trouble, but I'm not overly scared of a man harming me. Yeah, because he knows that if you do see, I experienced something in Ghana okay. that gave me so much joy maybe i've okay. not experienced same in nigeria maybe it will happen like that you 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 can tell me make it not happen in nigeria for you <laughs> no 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 it was a good okay. let me say good bad scene okay I, but i learned something from it okay i think a mate was trying to you know beat up a lady i don't know that the lady a mate a mate, a mate. mate in That's ghana conductor yes. yeah I think they had they had a misunderstanding Disagree, or disagreements yeah. in the trotro. So when they came down, you know, she was trying to hold there and try eh, to. I've never seen before that before. I knew, they came down from the trotro. I was coming out from the woman no beat them because normally here in Ghana they go. You know the woman they the talk face. now. You know women and our eh. mouth. She was talking before I knew. Men, guys from nowhere, they were just crossing the road, left, right, front, and center. They were going for the mate. Hey, hey, hey! I say, eh. Hey. That was how they pushed the mate away. That's the guy. The, the mate, the mate is the conductor. They didn't beat him. They didn't beat him. But please, next time, my darling, when you <laughs> see that, beat the guy. Thank you. <laughs> Beating for me. So, you know, I I loved the fact that they came out True for to her. protect. They, they didn't let the him woman. beat her yes. before. At least, even if maybe she did something bad, you mm. know, physically you are stronger than her. Well, in Nigeria too, you can see um, cases like that where people beat fight for you. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. But that's, just pray. That's why I'm saying. Just I've pray not... the location because it's not all the locations mm -hmm. that that can happen. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen a woman being assaulted. I was coming from the former deputy going to summit. A lady entered at Coca and then she dropped at DLA Junction mm. and she now gave the driver 40 naira back then mm. and the driver say it's not up to say it's 50 naira she now brought out 500 and gave him he said he does not have change they know they ever get change for okay. Nigeria <laughs> have you, have you okay so it? they freaking mm. let this woman go with your 10 naira he said he must collect it oh. the woman was like okay really? what did make her do make her go ask um, she went to ask um, someone had she's okay. Let me go and ask this woman that is selling corn nearby if she has yeah, ten. Well, she, he said no, she must not move. Okay. Oh guy, you know what thing I do? What do you do? You won't start to beat this woman. No? Mm -mm. Ah, I was calculating what to do and there were no many people there. I think the corn seller was just a few meters away and I was like there with her and there was one person in the vehicle and the driver. So the driver want to start arresting this woman. I think before I knew it, because I was thinking of what to do, mm -hmm. I just walked close to him and landed him a side slap, slap on his face Boa. and dropped 100 naira, fling 100 naira so at him, see. and I ran away. I vanish. You see, that's what has made Nigerian women has become so defensive. defensive. You know, yeah. I hear people say, oh, Nigerian, Nigerians oh. are very harsh, they're very, uh, their women are very... You have we to have no choice you because have to be the one that 
annoys me the most is that you are just a prostitute as you walk out there. Mm. Ashawo, mm. you are someone quarrel. Maybe you and a the mate. They will try to silence you as a woman. They will just want to start calling you a prostitute. Prostitute. You know, as you just dress up to go out in Nigeria, you are, a pr you are an Ashawo. You don't come. As in Nigeria, like you're dressing up, going out, you are a prostitute. Hmm. Just by being a woman if you have an altercation with a the man, man that's the first the first thing he tells you is look at shawo like you <sighs> and if you are the type that is shy you don't want you that about you don't want people to think of you like that you will keep quiet you will let them have their way except real um i wanted to say shawo like myself but my, my subscribers will be offended except someone like me when you say that to me, I don't mind. I don't have any problem with that, okay? Because I know you're simply trying to refer to your mother. But there are a lot of people wow. out there, when you tell them that, they will not be Take able to like talk it. again. You will see okay. our women. They will feel timid. Mm. They will just feel... Do you think the women, the way women are treated in Nigeria, should, they should... Do you, do you think um, it's good enough? It's not, because it's you see, not. in Nigeria, for instance, mm. If we have a rape case, there is every tendency that the woman will be blamed for being raped. They would have something to say that that's the reason why she was raped. And it's not like she will get justice. You know there are times where you get justice. But anyway, like for me, the day I went, like for me, the day I reported someone to the Ghana police and I got justice, I was warned. You understand because i admitted to saying some things because he was saying them to me so the person the police officer in charge warned me next time don't say this. don't say this you understand the person because is I admitted warning and the person give you justice but i got my but justice. there is every high tendency that yes you will not get now that. if you ask me am i going to do that again no no i will not because i have learned he have taught me that in love mm -hmm. not like him mm -hmm. cheating me me feeling cheated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is it. So you feel like um, we women should be treated better. Women should. They should. See, in Nigeria, women are going through a lot. I mean, are you saying girls. this because you are sitting with me? Um, because you know, you know what I'm saying. They don't feel embarrassed. Sis. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people think you have come close to me, and I'm influencing mm. your thoughts i have said in nigeria they don't know that you 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 tear i past me because <laughs> i have said in nigeria okay. i have said in ghana i would not say the assaults relationship as per se or no. i wouldn't say i wouldn't say maybe i have experienced it and that's why i am saying what i'm saying i am saying it out of what i have your heard, observation what i have observed Many women in Nigeria have been assaulted, but they can't talk. Is it in their relationship? When you say they can't talk, but like, in even inside or marriage, just going in on the road, just even going inside marriage. No, that, in that one is a personal thing, though, because I believe there is one or two women in Ghana here that may be dealing that may be dealing with that. Even in yes. America, where no, the laws understand. are like this, this, this you for see, women. There are reasons why some of these women may not be able to come out to talk. It's not just about the law okay it's about it's not just about government it's not okay. just about politics it's about the society it's about how women have been brought up to never complain to never about what they are yes you see a woman that is married in a home and she's going through physical assault and then she goes to complain to her family and they're telling you you go and yeah, endure it like that it's like that you can't divorce you go no. endure you cannot be a single and mother sometimes, it's a shameful thing and sometimes they die in there some yeah, people I think don't it's have the opportunity to come out alive mm. to talk about their story. Some people die in there. Yeah, and so it is not just about you know the politicians or the police. It's also about us. Mm. Even we as women, we don't know that we have been psyched unknowingly, and sometimes we transfer the same thing to our children. You hear African parents say behave this way oh, so that you're not go inside my house go behave like this they raise but the women they prepare us for, for the men for the men but they don't you don't hear the men you don't you don't hear the african most african parents tell a male child don't beat your sister is that how you're going to beat your wife uh, <laughs> no no because if, you if your that. if your husband is not beating you your, his nigerian mother will tell him he's a mumu 
Yeah. It's a no, mumu. No. So, I Some of them, or not all of them. It even starts from the family. The mother. The way we it starts from the mother. The female child and the different. way we groom the male child. And it, it has only... led the Nigerian woman to endure more and be Do more you know patient. That than... When we see a loving, caring man, a mm. young man, we know that your mama trained you well. Mm. Do you know that? Have you seen, like, whether in Nigeria, in Ghana, in UK, anywhere, where a man is caring, a man is loving, you trace it back to the, the family, mother, right? And in fact, mostly the, mom. the mother. That same Nigerian mother, mother have gone well. through all sort of abuse in the hands of her husband. She will still raise a son who will come and. It's a long topic. Let's not do it. I think let's not go mm, we'll let's talk about that topic. We'll, yeah, another some time. Other time. So now, dating in Ghana for you mm. versus dating in Nigeria. Have you dated in you these see, countries before? This this matter. Mm. Eh, I'll, I'll handle it like I handle jello fries. Oh, <laughs> yeah, handle them. I'll handle it like I handle the. No, Ghana men versus Nigerian uh -huh. men. I'll handle it the way I handle Nigerian jello versus Ghana jello. So, Nigerian men versus Ghana. I'm not going to tell you Ghana, categorically. Nigerian, that. Nigerian men versus <laughs> Ghana Calm men. Calm down. Because this one I will. Calm down. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you categorically that a particular country has the best men mm -hmm. compared to one country. Okay. Because one, it still boils down to upbringing. Both of yeah, us. Yeah, but both of us are eh? Nigerians. Yeah. Phoebe, Nigerian. Mm? From different homes. Brought up by different people. Different background. Everything. Have you heard some people say people from this place, they are very nice? But you still see. Yeah, but when they say they are very nice, they are judging based on the majority. Do you understand? Majority, <laughs> if you see 20 people and out of that 20, 10 I've not seen in any of the, let me be, I'll be fact, I'll be factual. My battery want to die, so Ghana mm -hmm. men versus I'll Nigerian be factual, men. I have not seen Ghana from, men. I can't choose. <laughs> Behave well. Yeah. Okay, so Nigerian. you can marry both? Yes. You can Everybody, marry any. Yes, it all depends on my, the person's relationship with, with me, you. with the person's relationship with God. So, Behave well. Okay. I'm not so, going to choose any country. Thank you. All right. <laughs> she refused to allow me get her into trouble. All right. So, guys, thank you so much for keeping thank up with you. us. Don't forget to check Bife. I think she has a video. You have a yes. video of us yes. together. What was what, what was it? What, what did we talk what, about? What that immigration. Immigration. Immigrate. Ah, thank you. Please don't forget to, to check Bife's video. And thank you so much for watching this one. I will thank see you in you. another one. And thank you for coming, Sissy. Thank you for having me. Mm. I don't have a problem with my Nigerian sisters. They're actually amazing. But the guys, you see the guys. Where is Nigerian men? Me and Nigerian guys with the fight. You see me drag. Dragging, dragging YouTubers mm. on here. Check them. They are men. They are waiting. Then they are men. Are men. Are men. You will come on my channel to really. You will come on my channel to really analyze this matter because I can see the. the if I if the I head. talk, are you sure? I don't use okay, let's do this. I'm ready. I would. I'll be a guest on your channel yes, talking about talk why about I you dislike I'm Nigerian. Always, not really dislike. Mm -hmm. That is dislike it? is too soft. Tune in to Be First channel. You want to see. Hey. All right. I'll see you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.